Welcome to Howard Brown Online Barber College. In the words of Michael Jackson, under the moonlight, you see a sight that almost stops your heart. Today, we are going to talk about the scary side of barbering. So get around the fire and let me share with you a few scary stories. I once worked in a barbershop where a man told a scary story. And as we all gathered around the chair to get a listen, the man spoke of a time he went to the barbershop. A nice and sunny day. A disgruntled customer comes in upset about the haircut he received. He then gets into a confrontation with the barber and pulls a gun out. First, let's stop right here. Can you imagine being a customer in the chair at this time? Oh my God. Wait, 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 let's get back to the story. So the customer is sitting in the chair and he sees all this going on. He said to us that the man pulls out a gun on the barber. Then out of nowhere, Every barber in the shop pulls out their guns on the man. This is right here. This is a second note right here. After all this would have went down, if I was in the chair, they would have to clean up the spill on aisle two. Clean up on aisle two, please. Wait, hold on, back to the story. So every barber in the shop pulls out their guns on the man. After the man sees that, he will surely die in this situation. He leaves. No one was harmed in this situation. But I have a question for you. Would you go back to this barbershop? In the words of Michael Jackson, it's close to midnight and something evil is lurking in the dark. I'm a, I'm a man who loves what he does. However, one day, something evil was waiting on me. On a busy Saturday at the barbershop, I laugh and joke with all the clients. One man comes in and could not get a cut from his regular barber, so he sits in my chair. And it's all good because I appreciate the business. As he and the barber are chopping it up, I am focused on the haircut. Looks real good to me. I grab my edgers and start to edge the man's hairline. It's normal for me to bend the ear down a little so that I'm able to get an effective arch behind the ear. But what I was not expecting was the smell that lurked behind this man's ear. I'm listening as this man is sharing a story about his wife and I am smelling boo-boo behind his ear. Now, <laughs> I almost threw up. Not just a little throw up, but the kind you see in a horror film. And here is the kicker. As I was edging him behind the ear, I ran my finger back there to push the hair out of my way. Now, my finger smelled like boo to the boo. Are, are you still with me? This, okay, so wait, this is the last horror story. Michael Jackson once said, as horror looks you right between the eyes, you're paralyzed. I had a client that had a name like one of the colors in the crayon box. He was a popular young fellow and came into my shop once a month for a haircut. As he walked into the shop for his haircut, I noticed that he was with his girlfriend and a best friend. They are talking about the other night and um, what they are going to do after the haircut. I mean, he was sharing an update with me about his mom and everything is peachy keen. One moment things are well and then as they talked and laughed, as barbers do, I, I turned the chair so that I would be able to access his hair on another side. As he is speaking with his friends, he turns quickly to them to laugh and talk. 
At that time, I had put my largest blade in the clipper and was cutting his hair. When he turned, his ear went right into my blade and cut him. And if you know anything about ears, they don't stop bleeding. He hollers out, man, you cut me. Blood is flowing like a faucet. What do I do? I'm a barber, not a medic. Before I pass out from all the blood, I grab my styptic powder, but I almost used all of it because it would not stop the bleeding. When I tell you I had tissues and styptic on it, um, band-aids and praying, please Lord, that it would stop. Who wants to be on Yelp for cutting ears? Not me, not me, not me. I just hope and pray it stopped bleeding when he got home because with all that drama, I had to put him out. <laughs> if you like this video, make sure you like and share it. Make sure you like us on Facebook at Howard Brown Online Barber College. And you can find mo out more about the school at howardbrownonline.com. Now, remember that barbering starts in the book. We'll see you next time. <laughs>